Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today, we're going to learn about 17 psychological tricks that always work. Now, let's begin. Number one, memorizing the bazaar. <laughs> if you want someone to remember something, this easy trick will make anything stick inside their head. Just take whatever you need them to memorize and frame it in a strange and unexpected way. Uh, maybe you come up with a crazy example or use some weird mnemonic device. The more distinct it is, the easier it will be for them to remember, thanks to a psychological phenomenon called the bizarreness effect. It's real. Researchers notice that distinct material is more memorable, but it's not just because our memory gets any better. Mm -mm. Distinct material just speeds up the encoding process. It also stops your brain from tuning things out. So give your words more sticking power by phrasing them in the weirdest way possible. Number two is the framing effect. People will give two completely different answers to a question by changing the way information is presented to them. The key is to point your audience in the direction of the choice that you want them to make. Okay, let's say you have two different types of yogurt. One uses a negative frame by saying it has 2% fat. The other uses a positive frame by saying it's 98% fat-free. Which yogurt do you think people will pick? Mm -hmm. Research shows that people favor the positive frame because it emphasizes gains instead of losses. Even though both yogurts are exactly the same, this psychological bias distorts our decision-making. Number 3. The Influence of Absolute Certainty Let's take the framing effect just one step further. People's minds can be changed by creating or removing absolute certainty. The certainty effect explains that people are more likely to do things when they believe there's no risk involved. So if you add a chance of something bad happening, most people will get nervous and back out. Let's say a friend of yours is doing something you think is a terrible idea, but they're confident that nothing negative is going to happen. You can easily help them make the right decision by creating some level of, mm, let's call it realistic doubt. It'll be their choice to make, but there's a good chance the risk will change their mind and help them in the long run. Number 4. Strategic Passivity how do you communicate frustration and disappointment without hurting anyone's feelings? Well, normally when something goes wrong, we just say, you didn't do this right. This feels like a personal attack. It's direct, it's active, and it's accusatory. Luckily, a small change in phrasing can completely transform your tone. So instead, you might say, this wasn't done right. Using the passive voice will show that you're unhappy without offending or insulting anyone. Number 5. The Power of Multiple Options What do you do when your friend wants to tell you something, but they can't quite find the words? How do you help them communicate their feelings? You give them two options to choose from. If they seem upset, just ask them if they're stressed about work or if you did something wrong. It doesn't matter if you guess right. The simple fact that you gave them options will make it much easier for them to express themselves. Number 6. The Von Restorff Effect You'll find that people are attracted to things that stand out. When one stimulus noticeably differs from the others, it becomes more memorable. This bias is called the Von Restorff or Isolation Effect. Lists are a common example. Let's say your boss hands you a list of things that he wants you to get done today. You notice that one item is highlighted. Now, he didn't say you should prioritize any one thing over the others, but you end up doing the highlighted task first anyway. People do this because isolation creates importance and urgency. If something differs in size, shape, or color, we assume it's more significant than everything around it. So, the next time you're delegating responsibilities or just making a grocery list, find ways to isolate your priorities. Number 7. The Rhyme as Reason Effect If you want to make a stronger point, try using a statement that rhymes. The Rhyme as Reason Effect tells us that rhyming improves retention, especially if it feels natural. 
In fact, people assume rhyming statements are also more accurate than non-rhyming statements. When you evaluate how factual a statement sounds, logic isn't the only thing that you consider. The aesthetics of a sentence matter too. If it looks and sounds fluid, then you're more likely to believe it's the truth. Number 8. Relieving Discomfort Under Pressure When giving presentations or speeches, what do you do with your hands? You might feel like your hands really don't have a place, which can make you restless and uncomfortable. It's a huge distractor while you're trying to give a speech, so you should use this simple trick to relieve some of that discomfort. Bring something to hold on stage with you. It could be a clipboard, a water bottle, or just about anything that you want. The point is, give your hands some sort of role or purpose. It'll help you feel more relaxed, which makes all the difference in these high-pressure situations. Number 9. Communicating Value Everyone wants to be wanted. It makes us feel valuable and important. It raises our self-esteem while relieving emotional pain. In a professional environment, people are constantly searching for value. They want to be helpful members of the team. They want recognition from their boss, and they want the approval of their coworkers. When value is on the line, people are willing to push themselves as much as it takes. So, by communicating that you need someone, you're not only making them feel better, you're also motivating them to work harder. Number 10. Instant Bonding Many potential friendships fail moments after you first meet. You don't form any kind of memorable connection, so your bond just fades away. If you want to stop this from happening, prove that you're invested in the relationship. You can form instant bonds by doing something as simple as repeating their name. After they introduce themselves, find ways to weave their name into the conversation. This technique will show them they've earned a place in your memory. It's really simple, but it can get the ball rolling on a long-lasting friendship. Number 11. The IKEA Effect People naturally overvalue things that they built themselves, while undervaluing gifts that other people give them. Most of the time, it doesn't really matter how good the quality is. If you made it yourself, you're going to take much more pride in it. So, how can you use the IKEA effect to your advantage? Well, if you want someone to care about your project, get them involved. Let them be a part of the creative process. Once they start investing their time and energy into your project, well, they're much more likely to stick around. Number 12. Conditioning with validation. Whenever someone uses a specific word or phrase, offer them some sort of validation. You might try smiling or nodding. Even laughing can work as long as you don't overdo it. Each piece of positive body language acts like reward for doing something good. They'll start unconsciously repeating the same words, hoping for another smile or a nod in return. Number 13. Calculated Bargaining If you want something in a negotiation, you start by asking for way more than you need. They're either going to seem unsure or turn you down, but that's the point. You set this ridiculously high standard so the real thing doesn't seem so bad by comparison. Plus, when you lower the price, it seems like you're meeting them in the middle, almost like you're doing them a favor. You'll be surprised how many people will accept your compromise, thinking they got the better end of the deal. Number 14. Undermining Laziness you can easily motivate unproductive team members by dividing up their work. If you need them to get something done, never hand them the entire project. Divide up their work into small, manageable chunks. Each one will seem easy on its own, so your lazy teammate won't waste as much time procrastinating. As these chunks begin to pile up, they won't even realize how much they're actually getting done. This psychological trick also works when people are feeling insecure or intimidated. Splitting up your work will help you be productive without the stress and pressure of a giant, demanding project. Number 15. The Supportive Foundation How do you get people to take your opinions seriously? Oftentimes, people tune you out because they don't feel heard. 
Why bother listening to you if you're not listening to them? So let them know you are listening. Before you share your perspective, add something like, I hear what you're saying, or that's a really good point. If you show that you're invested in them, then they'll do the same for you, building the kind of supporting foundation that facilitates honest and productive discussions. Number 16. Motivational Expectations What's the best way to quickly improve someone's performance? Explain that you have high expectations of them. Say that you appreciate their work and that you're excited to see more. When people receive this kind of encouragement, confidence and productivity both skyrocket. You'll immediately notice them working harder to prove that they're worth believing in. Number 17. The Modality Effect If you have to say something important, save it for the very end. The modality effect shows that memory retention spikes at the end of a speech, list, or presentation. But this only works for verbal language. When something is written down, you can go back and reread. Unless you're listening to a video or podcast, you can't replay someone's voice. So help them help you by saving the best for last. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think, and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.